We're now joined on the sports mix by the head coach of Jefferson football, Craig Hunter. Coach Hunter, your team, another dominating win last week, 47-21 at Clarksburg. What were your thoughts on that game? Uh, you know, I thought we, once again, I thought we played well. I think we're continually getting better each week. Um, you know, we had some big play capability. Um, you know, that happened for us this, this week again. Uh, Tayshawn had a great game. Uh, Tony again uh, was very explosive. Uh, Dylan, Dylan was accurate. And defense played well when, when they needed stops. They got they got a stop. So I thought overall, I thought we did a great job. And it's always important to be playing your best football at this point of the year, heading into the playoffs. Uh, how have you, I guess, seen that and evaluated that over the last few week, few weeks? Uh, you know, we've just been trying to, like I said, every week. You know, all we talk about is trying to get better each week. Um, that's the only thing we can do is try to get better each week, work on the things that, we're, um, that we messed up on the, the previous week, just try to get better at those things, you know, pay attention to deep and pay attention to small details. The offense has continued to really vamp up. Uh, scoring the ball does not seem to be an issue anymore for your team here during this win streak. What, what do you guys, uh, I guess, kind of credit that as a whole? Uh, like I said, paying attention to the detail, not as many mistakes, uh, whether it be offensive line, whether it be uh, read progressions, whether it be fumbles, whether it be penalties, just limiting the mistakes altogether. Uh, we're able to limit the mistakes. We're able to stay in front of the sticks, and then we're able to continue drives and then get scores. And we've been, we've been pretty explosive, too. You know, the search of Tony Allen, the certain of Samar Wallace, and then, you know, always sending in Jackson Rockwell. Uh, those guys right there have always been um, – been good for us in the passing game. And then uh, Tayshawn Roper. Tayshawn was a little banged up early in the beginning of the year. I don't know if people know that, but he was banged up earlier in the year. Um, I think he's, him being healthy uh, got our running game really going. Coach Washington, this week, uh, I would presume this is your senior day as well. So what has this uh, senior class meant to your team? Uh, you know, they've been a lot. You know, they've been here. Most of them have been here four years. They've been a part of the resurgence of the Jefferson High School football program um, after the bad season we had uh, in between the mixture of going to the playoffs. You know, they've been here for all that. They stuck with it. Um, so that means a lot to me. A lot, they mean a lot to me. They could have easily, you know, jump ship and try to go somewhere else. They stuck it out and made sure that we continued to got better. Um, you know, we want to send them off the way they – we want to send them off in the correct way. It's a big rivalry within the community as well between the two schools within the county. Just talk about it on uh, your side of things. You know, these kids, uh, they know each other. Uh, they play middle school football against each other. They play midget league against each other. Um, I just try to tell my kids, you know, it's a big rivalry. I try to tell my kids to stay out of the mess, stay out of the junk, stay out of the trash talking during the reach. They want to play the game, um, and they want to try to do our talking with our play. Um, all that, all that trash talking beforehand on social media doesn't get us anywhere. And coach, it's kind of rare. It seems like in this rivalry that both teams are having strong seasons. So, what's it like uh, for the community to know that Friday night will be good football on both sides and should be a competitive game? Oh, it's good for the community. Uh, just to see this game, uh, where it's going to be highly competitive. It's not going to be one-sided one way or the other. Um, everybody's going to come out looking, hoping, looking for a good game. Um, like I said, highly competitive game, seeing, seeing their, uh, the fruit of their labor, you know, what they've supported all these years, come out on the football field and just give them a good show on the football field. What are some things that stick out to you about uh, Washington so far this year? Um, you know, they, they, they've, they've gotten – Terry Ray has gotten them on the track – um, but they're doing real well. Uh, they got they got a lot more speed than they've had in the past. Uh, they got some size up front, um, and they're going to they're going to blitz us. They're going to blitz us, and they're going to play a little bit man to man. So we got we got to be prepared for the blitzing, um, and that's the main thing. We're going to focus a lot on the blitzing. Uh, they they been able to run the ball well um, recently. In the addition of Michael Michael uh, Thompson uh, in the passing game has had it a lot. So you know. They become more more of a well-rounded team. Uh, they do a good job of doing what they do. You mentioned the blitz, and that's been something that 
pretty much every team has talked about trying to uh, defend against Washington. What do you think makes their blitz so difficult, and what are some of the challenges that your team will have to overcome? I, I think it's just a matter of they're just going to bring blitzes from different angles. You just got to recognize it and see it. Uh, we got to recognize and see it early and just don't get nervous in it. Don't get nervous. Don't panic. Know, know, your, know your assignment. Don't, don't have, as I would call them, uh, to my old line, don't get up there and have brain farts when you see something. Um, just stay on your tracks. Know where you're blocking assignments with the passion. Know, know the pass protection. Don't, don't falter from the pass protection. Just because you see somebody walk up in the gap doesn't mean that you have to go get them if that's not your pass protection. It's going to leave somebody else open. Um, trust it. And that's what I tried to tell. I told him yesterday we're going to work on it a little bit today. Um, you know, uh, just trust everything that we've been doing. Trust it and stay with it. What are some of the other expectations that you're putting on your team here this week? Uh, you know, just to just to kind of keep this thing rolling. You know, you want like you said, you want to go into this part of the season. You want to keep it rolling. We want to go into the playoffs with a win. Um, like, like we always start, like we set our goals after those, after those first couple of games. We set our goals is to control our destiny. We want to control things. We want to control where we're playing. We want to try to control where we're playing at as long as we can and have somewhat control over what kind of seed we want to get uh, in the playoffs. So that's up to us, and it's up to us this Friday night to, con- to continue that process and finish the fight. It's the final game of the regular season Looking back at the season as a whole from the start up until now, what are some things that you see in your team this year that you maybe didn't expect to see from them? Uh, you know, I've seen a lot of growth. Um, just a lot of growth um, in facing adversity, uh, a lot of growth in the offensive line. I knew they were young, but they grew, they've grown tremendously over the season. Uh, they've taken on each every task that we've given them, and they've gotten better each week. I think the team has gotten better each week. Um, I always I kind of figured we'd be we'd be pretty good this year, but I didn't know that you know these guys would come answer the bell when we when we put challenges on them. They kept on repeatedly answering the bell every time we put challenges on them, um, and hopefully you know they'll do that again this week on uh, Friday night. All righty, Coach Hunter. Anything else for this week's matchup? If not, we'll get to the fun question. Uh, I'm good. All right, we're changing it up here for this week's fun question. You get to ask us a fun question this week. Hmm. Uh, what is your biggest surprise in a football season? What is our biggest surprise to this year's football season? Yes. Hmm. I, I'd say, Both of us are stumped. Yeah, you got us for sure. I'd say, uh, I'd say Washington being as competitive as they have been. I expected them to be uh, improved from last year, but to have a winning season, I'd say, is a little bit surprising. Uh, if we're just talking high school. All right. And I, I'll go with uh, Spring Mills, even though everything has changed now with the Forfeits. I knew they were going to have a big season, but just how dominant they've been defensively on the field to so far have uh, now seven shutout victories is definitely a mm-hmm. huge surprise because uh, that that's seemingly impossible. I don't think anybody can anticipate a uh, year as dominant defensively as uh, what they were able to have on the field. So I'll go with that. Okay. So. Thank you, Coach. You got us, though. No problem. All right. Appreciate the time. Best of luck against Washington. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.